Our Dylan Thomas was in court for us. Dylan, I understand the proceedings were quick. It only took a few minutes. Britt, it took about 15 minutes for Chris Watts to be escorted in, for him to be formally advised of what charges he faces, and then to find out when his next court date would be. But that we know of, this is the first time since Shannon's death that her father and brother were able to see Chris Watts in person, knowing he's accused of killing Shannon and their two young daughters, Bella and Celeste. Now, the judge advised Chris Watts of the nine felony charges he faces, including several first degree murder charges. When asked if he understood the charges, he quietly responded with yes, sir, each time. Sitting in the first row behind the prosecution was Shannon's father and brother. The father cried through much of the hearing, holding his hands to his face. Wearing red handcuffs, shackles, and glasses, Watts sat quietly as the judge told him he faces either life in prison without parole or the death penalty if convicted of the murder charges alone. Other charges, including tampering with a deceased body and termination of a pregnancy, would come with more time. However, the district attorney has not announced if he will seek the death penalty in this case, as he has almost two months in order to do so. Now, once again, Chris Watts claims that his wife is the one who killed Celeste and Bella, the two young daughters. But at this time, he faces the charges for those murders as well. The defense asked for more time in order to prepare for that next court date, waiving their right to have it in the next 35 days. So the judge set it for November 19th at 1030 in the morning here in Greeley. Reporting live in Greeley, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you for the update.